Jesus explains, this is how the devils win. Shake off the dust and get up again. May 29th, 2023. Words from Jesus through Sister Claire. Spoken by Jackie. Claire began, the Lord bless you, dear heart dwellers. This is a difficult time of the year for some people, especially for those of us who are in the mountains, when the ground turns to mushy clay. We managed to get a car stuck, then a tractor as well. We did get the car out, now we must get the tractor out. So, it has been quite an adventure, two days of digging and maneuvering. I think everyone here is a little bit on the exhausted side, myself included. And then came some kind of pressure front and caused some of us here to have serious aches and pains. So we are limping along. I'm giving you all of this ahead of time so you can understand why the Lord said the following to me. So I came into prayer as we do as a group and I said, Oh beloved, I'm sorry, but you know I'm a mess. As Mother Elijah says, a hot mess. Yes, I know. I know well every cry of your heart and answers are coming, Claire. Bear patiently with me, beloved. As Ezekiel said to you today, I'm doing something here. None of this suffering is being wasted. All of it is bringing forth amazing fruit. Will you trust me in this? Of course, Lord. How can I not trust you? I want to take a break here for a second and say that the enemy gives us opportunities. By praying against us, he gives us opportunities to offer things up. Should the Lord let them land? And we offer them up for the conversion of witches, because they are the most pitiful people, not knowing what they have bought into, in dire need of healing and love. So very often, when we know we are under attack, we offer it up for their conversion, and so it does not get wasted. Well, it is a drawn-out process to accomplish all that needs to be done. And you cannot always see the fruits of your sufferings for me. So I totally understand that discouragement has a platform to land on. My beloved, try to destroy that platform. I'm speaking of self-pity, self-preoccupation and self-indulgence. These three spirits will attack you on your journey, wherever you go. Their assignment is to turn you inward, thereby disabling any ministry to others who are suffering, who I may have sent you, cultivating the opposing virtues, namely selflessness, preoccupation with my concerns, and self-denial, are the electrified fence that repel the attacks of the enemy who feeds on those who are self-preoccupied and continually thinking about how things affect them. When you conquer your self-nature, you conquer all your enemies because they no longer have any footing, nothing to stand on, nothing to be attached to. They cannot land, so they fly off looking for another who will give them grounds, who will feel sorry for themselves, who will have a pity party and examine my motives, as if I were mistaken in what I'm doing. Let me tell you this about self-preoccupation, my tender ones. When you do not tough it out, when you withdraw and go into your little hole in the ground and make your nest comfy with strands of self-pity, self-preoccupation and self-indulgence, when you make this cozy nest and wallow in it until it fits just right, turning the light of prayer off and going to sleep, well, then the enemy has won. 
I know how tender you all are, and have I not promised that no weapon formed against you would prosper? Have I not given you the weapons to stand up and fight? Am I not always with you, with my broad shoulders, holding you up? I tell you I am, and there is nothing that can come against you and triumph over you, unless you give up and slink away with your head down. Do you not know that these same temptations assailed me in my life on earth? Well, yes, they did. But by my father's providential grace, I conquered them. I was close, ever so close, to giving in when I saw what I must suffer. But worse yet, what the ones I loved would have to suffer. And what I would suffer of those who did not care for the sacrifice I made. So. I understand well where you're coming from. Remember, I was tempted in every way, but never sinned. So I want to encourage you to shake off the dust and get up again. A few days ago, Claire, I told you we are entering the fire. This is all part of it. But let me also tell you that the fruits are heavenly and they will bring you overflowing joy. So pay no mind to the inconveniences and say to yourself what I said. For the joy that lay ahead, I considered all of this suffering as nothing 